75 to 80 percent of the total shipment in Thailand is operated through Lam Shabang Deep Sea Port, with the shipment expected to increase by 8 to 10 percent after ASEAN Economic Community or AEC in 2015. The port is now developing its infrastructure and logistics system in order to serve the rising demand. Being Thailand's biggest deep sea port, Lam Shabang each year can serve 10.8 million TEUs, a major use for capacity in container transportation. However, by the year 2015, the port's shipment is expected to increase 8 to 10 percent following AEC. The demand for transport at the port would also likely increase up to 11 million TEUs by the year 2020. In order to serve the increasing shipment demand in the future, Lt. Sutinan Hattawong, the Port Managing Director, said that the Port Authority of Thailand, or PAT, has urgently developed two major projects, the development of the Coastal Terminal A and the Single Rain Transfer Operator projects, to support the expansion of Lam Shabang Port. The two projects are aimed specifically at improving logistics efficiency and alleviating traffic problems. According to the managing director, the development of the coastal terminal project is aimed at reducing traffic congestion. When finished, it can also offer the port users a cost-effective mode of transport as it will serve domestic waterway transport linked with Lam Shabang port. Moreover, he said that the project will enhance the country's competitiveness due to lower logistic costs. Lieutenant Sutinan said that around 88% of transportation from Lam Shabang port to hinterland has been done via the road system, while 9.5% and 2.5% through rail and waterway respectively. In order to enhance the logistic network system in the country, Lam Shabang port's rail transfer terminal project has been initiated to increase the rail transport up to 20% of the total. He added that a modern and efficient rail transfer terminal will significantly decrease transportation costs incurred through trucking services. The lieutenant said that both projects are expected to be operational by the year 2015. Regarding Myanmar's Dawei Deep Sea Port project, Lieutenant Sutinan said that it is expected to have substantial impacts on Thailand's trade pattern. As Thai food manufacturers in many locations such as Kanchanaburi, Rajaburi, Petchaburi, Prajuap Kirikhan, Samut Songkram, Samut Sakon, Supanburi, and even Bangkok will use Dawei as a gateway to the world market. On the other hand, Lam Shabang Ports MD said that it is possible that commodities manufactured in the Dawei industrial zone, which is the destination in the eastbound countries, will be moved to transport via Lam Shabang Port. To connect Lam Shabang Port to Dawei, according to the Ports MD, the government plans to construct necessary infrastructure, especially highway roads and motorways, to serve the linkages between the two gateways. Therefore, Lam Shabang Port has to prepare basic infrastructure within the port to serve traffic flows together with a plan to develop the coastal terminal and their single rail projects. Considering the huge share of international trade in the nation's economy, the managing director added that after the commencement of AEC, it is forecast that there will be additional flows of commodities from neighboring countries to be shipped via Lam Shabang Port. In alignment with other ports in Thailand, Lam Shabang Port will continue to attract good amount of foreign shipment trade business in the future, making Thailand a regional transportation hub. Sathapat Pathong reporting for ASEAN Business Report.